I'm Simon and I converted this Volkswagen from an empty transporter into a mobile home and a working van. I already made a video about the build and how I made everything. Today I will give you a tour through my finished van and I will show you all the functions and details. And yeah, as you hear, I'm a Swiss guy. I almost built everything in the van by myself. It took me around three months of full-time work. First, I will show you my bed, which I can use as a single or as a double bed. To change this bed to a double bed, I just have to pull out this little metal part here and slide the big plate all the way to the other side where it gets hold by these little bricks. The only thing left is now to fill the gap with the other part of the mattress. It is also very simple to change it back to a couch. On this side I built my cupboard unit. It has a lot of storage for clothes and other belongings. On the bottom I have also two little parts where I can store my shoes and here is my spare diesel. I think the coolest part on this cupboard is my table. I just have to lift up this part and then I can convert this to a pretty cool and stable table. Here I have additional lights, a 5 volt charger and a 220 volt charger. Behind this little wall I can store my laptop and under this wood the paperwork. And I have some more storage to store whatever I like. On this side, I created a place where I can hang up my clothes. And I made a holder for my ex. Another place to store clothes or jacket is the hook here. Under my bed, I created a space to store big boxes. For example, this rocker box where I can store all kinds of different stuff. And behind that, I have a lot of space for my working tools and my snow chain. Behind the bed, I created a multifunctional table. I have just to pull this wooden plate up so I can use it as a longer bed to sleep outdoor, or I can use it to cook under the back door. And I also built in some nice lights for the night. Now I will show you my kitchen. In my kitchen I have three drawers and two cabinets. In the big cabinet I store all my dishes, my pots and my gas cooker. On the other side I have a little cabinet to store my food belongings. Down here is a drawer to store all kinds of liquids. The other two drawers are under my bed. The top one is for all my silverware and spices and other little belongings. And the bottom one is my fridge. It is compressor cooled and empty in the moment. Over here you see my electricity panel. These are my two main lights. Over here is my voltage meter, how much battery power is left. And here I have a little USB charger which I can turn on and off. Here you see a little panel and this is for my 220 volt inverter. I can put this on and I can use over here the 220 voltage electricity. A pretty cool feature is that I can open the slide doors on both sides, so the kitchen is accessible from the out and the inside. Over here is my water tap, so I can use fresh water here inside to wash hands and a little bit of dishes. Over here I built a little multifunctional table too. I can put this 
play and build an additional table inside here. I can use this table also from the outside. For that I have to pull out this aluminium part, put this little brick in this hole and can easily build an outdoor table. I can use this to cook outside and for other different reasons. Behind this cover you see my water system. Over here is my fresh water tank, 12 liter and over here my grey water. Behind this little wood it is room for my spare gas bottles. Now I will show you my electricity system. The switch over here is to connect both batteries to charge while driving. And the rest is under my bed. Here you see my battery. It is a 120 amp hour AGM battery. Over here is my fuse box. And this is the Sinus converter which makes 220 voltage out from 12 volt. I didn't adjust a lot of things in the cockpit. The only thing I made is this 5 volt charger over here and the AUX port to plug in my mobile phone. This seat is really special because I made a swivel seat out of it. I only have to unscrew four screws. So and now I can simply swivel around the seat. So you have a comfortable place to sit inside the van. On this side I have two ports. One is my gas alarm to stay secure inside the car and over here the control panel of my stand heater. I can adjust here all kinds of settings. One of the coolest features of the stand heater is the timer. So it can wake up in the morning and it's warm when you have to get up. On this side is the part where the hot air comes out and the actual stand heating machine is under the car and the diesel comes directly from the main diesel tank. Now you will see some footage from additional features in this car. So I hope you liked my room tour video of this van. If you haven't seen the conversion video yet, it is linked in the description. And if you ever want to convert a van at yourself, feel free to contact me and I would love to help you. So, have a nice day.